Since waking up from the self-induced coma that is Classic WoW, I've been getting back to my roots and living my life as a changed man. In World of Warcraft, and in the next expansion, I have made the premium decision to quit raiding. It is a fool's game to be yet another brick in the wall, but make no mistake, I have no plans to become casual. So, what will occupy my time? Will it be becoming the prettiest gnome in all of Azeroth, Night Elf Naked Any% speedruns, or will it be becoming the highest rated PvP rank with zero prior experience? All of the above, cool. But enough of that, let's get this old model out of here. It's time for an upgrade. Oh, oh, oh god, no, 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 take me with Okay, uh, uh, gotta say, I absolutely love the anticipation for a new WoW expansion. It always feels like Christmas. New raids, new content, new systems. Which may not be the most popular opinion with some of you people who hate World of Warcraft but play it for 16 hours a day. Hi. But despite all that, whether this is your first expansion release or potentially your last, there's no denying that the glimmer of hope a new expansion brings that it might be good is enough to make you feel, wow, this is going to be amazing. As long as Blizzard doesn't <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, they added a ton of new customization features, including making changing your sex completely free. So now my incredibly diverse selection of characters can be... Perfect. Second of all, I've decided to switch from Horde to Alliance. Now, why on earth would I do that? It seems like almost everybody is Horde these days. Well, I don't need a high player count or top-end performance when I can be a... Thick. Big titty. Mommy. Goth. Night Elf. GF. Also, I've got an, my gnome, it's my brand. Pint is a brand. Brand. Pr brand. Seriously, people spend all this time farming transmog and mounts to look as swagtastic as possible, and then they display their wealth on the ugliest races in the game. And don't even get me fucking started on Blood Elves. They're so fucking boring. What, like, oh, oh, I want some Instagram thought. Nah, bro. Bro, you want, you want this. You want this shit, bro. You don't, fuck that. You want this, dude. Retail WoW is all about appearances, and although the Alliance isn't exactly optimal, it's optimal in the one place that matters. But perhaps the biggest change in Shadowlands is that I have decided to make PvP content my main shit. With the new changes to PvP gear in Shadowlands and the fact that PvP is one of the only things I haven't done in World of War uh, War uh, Warcraft yet, I figure this will spice up the game and reinvigorate my WoW passion. After all, the true endgame of Retail WoW is collecting pretty things for your Barbie doll to wear, and this shit? This is fucking pretty. But climbing to Glad is a story for another time. This is about walking the path to enlightenment. And what better place to start than... I've had my fair share of raiding over the past eight years. <clears throat> but the way I see it, raiding has about two ways it can play out. Scenario number one happened to me during MOP, my first ever raid tier. You're in a guild full of like-minded gamers with the same goal. You struggle your way through the content and finally clear the raid triumphant with your friends. Friends that you probably made through this experience. And that's what MMOs are all about. But the other side of raiding is just- uh, Even if you like everyone in your raid, which- Which you probably won't, by the way. Eventually, content gets stale or, you know, given the fact that there's 20 people, there's probably going to be some disparity in- ideologies or s skill. See, when you're playing something like Dark Souls, you can die and then think to yourself, Oh, I observe that action has led to my death. I shall take note and improve my gameplay so that in future that does not happen again. What the fuck do I do? Can I change that? Is that a fucking setting? It's so fucking dead. But when you're raiding and there's 20 people involved, sometimes you die and the answer's just, Oh, I did everything perfectly, but the healer died, so we fucking wiped. Look, look, I know I know this is sounding kind of egotistical and I'm making raiding out in a bad light, but really, it's not that I hate raiding, it's that I hate competitive raiding. I've just been there and done that and there's nothing left for me. A group of 20 people will inevitably have more drama than a circle of three friends. But also, if even by some divine intervention everything is perfect, my biggest problem with raiding is that your effort is divided amongst 20 people. 
kind of feels less rewarding than being one out of three people in an arena. And we all know that my hubris needs constant validation. I mean, sure, there's the time you top the meters or save the raid at 1%, and you know, that's the good shit. So fuck it, maybe I was lying, maybe I will raid, because that kind of sounds fun actually, huh? Okay, but if I do raid, it's not going to be Scenario 2, it's going to be Scenario 1, and that's that. But there is a third scenario which I like way more. Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, we're doing it. In fact, for the past two months, instead of, you know, making videos, I just played Raid Shadow Legends for 16 hours a day. I'm an addict. With a nearly perfect score on the App Store, over 400 champions to collect, and challenging strategic gameplay, <coughs> is there anything that Raid can't do? Raid, make me fly. Whoa! With over 25 million downloads, a million daily players, and a Discord with over 100k members, the Raid community is one of the biggest and most welcoming I've ever seen. You might make a friend or two. And it's completely free! You can play as a woman. Femboy character when? Here's my elven sniper. She's perfect. She's my favorite part about this game. Observe how she kills f***ing everyone. I love her. And constant updates. More regular th than my upload schedule. And that that's not even a joke. Wanna see how I beat enemies in Raid Shadow Legends? No, my phone! Good thing it's also available on desktop. And now, this month, Raid's biggest update ever. Doom Tower. With over 120 floors and also ceilings. 12 new bosses, and 14 new heroes. This is not just Raid's biggest update, but the biggest update to your life. Hey, you want some free stuff? Well, click my link below to get a free champion, Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and an ancient shard. That's Poggers. This offer is only available for 30 days and only for new players. You'll find your rewards here. Click the link, it's free. Please click it now, I want to pay my rent. Please click the link, please. Since I began playing Classic, it's no secret that I've become a bit of a PvP fanatic. Which I'll admit is somewhat of a new thing for me in World of Warcraft. Now, before I played Classic, I'd obviously played a little bit of Arena, but before Classic, my thought process in PvP was pretty much something like Ah! 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 Popcorn! Ah! I'm stuck! Forget! Ah! But that thought process won't get you very far in Classic, and honestly, you probably won't even be able to have those thoughts in Classic, because Classic PvP is extremely simple. But with that simplicity, something special happens. Each button press matters. Each decision. If I frostbolt now, will I get interrupted? Should I use ice block now or save it for blind? And it gets very easy to get into the head of your adversaries when the only two things they're thinking are pop cold blood. Win. So I found once I'd returned to retail, that continued to an extent. I saw value in each polymorph and how it could save lives or confirm kills. You know, mages have intelligence as their primary stat for a reason. I noticed what abilities other classes had. No longer would I use all of my magic versus a Death Knight's anti-magic shield. Please, please, thank you, thank you, save, save your project. For the first time, I was beginning to learn, beginning to not, not be shit at WoW. But there was one final connection that my monkey brain had to make, and that was enemy dead. Good. Me dead. Really bad. If the enemy gamer uses his fuck you, you can't kill me, fuck you move, then I can't kill him. Similarly, if the enemy gamer's friend is in the back spamming fucking heals, then again, I can not kill him. So, what do I do? Perhaps if I bait out the enemy gamer's trinkets and defensives, and then I pull him off the healer and I save my big juicy cooldowns for the burst window, I'm I'm beginning to believe. Kneel before me, mortals. I am a god. Wow, is an MMO. I know, I know. That that might be shocking. Just, just bear with me a sec. It's all about the people, the friendships. You, you do have friends, right? For years, I have had to indulge in the raiding community. To sit wiping on a boss for four fucking hours with only the comforting sounds of my raid leader telling me Uh, alright guys, let's uh, get another summon out for Bradshaw. Looks like he uh, forgot to repair his gear. 
Again. Fuck Jimmy McGee telling me what time to show up and fucking me on loot. Now I can be around the real trans. The gods. Look at look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. Oh like oh oh like, oh, like this. Oh. Seriously, why are most rank one PvPers absolute units? But probably the most important aspect of a community is that it has people. And unlike raid bosses, people feel things when you beat them. And that's the real victory. No longer would I have to listen to Nut Guy's controversial political opinions all raid. Or listen to Alina and Brisket talk about how their son drank four liters of lead paint today. Now I can just vibe with the boys. Some of the outer PvP community has a reputation of being a little... toxic. But that doesn't even really matter to me, since most of the time I can just play with my friends. G guys? But honestly, even if I do have to queue with some toxic guys, I think I can have some fun with it now, and I'm open to new experiences. Even if those experiences are prolifically offensive and a waste of my fucking time. After so many years of raiding, PvP is one of the few pieces of fresh content that I have left. It allows me to experience the game once again as I used to. To be new, to learn, to feel a sense of progression, to get stomped down and receive game award hate mail for throwing. I can't raid these days without comparing myself to the super cool mythic raids that I used to do in high school when I was playing 19 hours a day. And that's something I'd still really recommend trying to this day, and you should do what I say because I'm the big- I'm the YouTube guy. <laughs> if you've never raided, I'd recommend trying it. I've heard it's a pretty good raid tier after all. Nope, oh, nope, no. Sorry, I, I did Castle Nathria last night. Still fucking hate raiding. I hate it. Who knows where you'll end up a year from now. Maybe your name will strike fear into your enemies as they cower before your epic pet battling skills. Maybe you'll be able to destabilize the US government with your capitalist knowledge from your experience control controlling the fish market on WoW. And for me with PvP, it's like that progression path has started anew. And perhaps someday I'll find salvation once more. And that's why I've decided to become a gladiator, because even if I don't achieve my goal, which I totally fucking will by the way, at least I've tried, and I'll probably get much further than what I would have gotten if I never tried at all. It's all about the journey, my kings. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? My arena partner gets a girlfriend and stops playing? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and that brings me to my final point. Imagine a night like any other. There you are in Discord with your friends, just hanging out, vibing, blasting some music. You're all wearing thigh hides. There's no drama. There's no politics. It's just you, them, and the game. Imagine if every night could be like this. How long could it last? Those are the nights you remember. And that's what the game is all about. And that's why I'm going to be a gladiator in Shadowlands. Until I become a Minecraft YouTuber and flood my channel with stream highlights. Also, Cyberpunk just came out, so bye! And please subscribe. Oh my god, like none of you will subscribe. Look at these statistics. They're not even photoshopped. Oh my god, subscribe, please. I'm gonna make great videos forever. Also, follow my Twitch. Uh, here it is. Uh, I got some pretty funky stuff planned this December. Sorry for a bit of a shorter one today, but I don't like having literally several months between all my uploads, so I figure it's, you know, uh, yeah. I'd like to thank Casca for the art uh, for, for this segment, and yeah, I'll see you guys on In the Broken Isles. <laughs> Bye. Also, my tune is Pent on Dalaran. P-E-N-T. Send me gold. Send me gold now.